It's right behind it. So, all right. So uh, pursuant to Chapter 20 of the Act of 2021, this meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting can do so by clicking on the live link to the Zoom meeting that can be found on the public meeting calendar on the town of Amherst website or by dialing in by phone. The public is able to comment during the public comment segment of the posted agenda by raising their hand. This meeting is being recorded and will be posted to the town of YouTube channel. All right. Um, and do we have, any, no, we don't have any attendees, it looks like. Oh, yeah. Shana, you're now the host. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for all your hard work. Thanks, Angela. All right, thanks. So we've got everybody here and no members of the public, right? Correct. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Hope you had a happy new year. Same to you. Yeah. Today is actually my birthday, so I'm barely here. Oh. Happy birthday. That is above Thank and beyond you. on your birthday. To My family is all waiting to celebrate. They're like, guys, I'll be there in an hour. <laughs> well, the good, in, good incentive to run an efficient meeting tonight. Exactly. Yes. All right. Let me actually get to. So did everybody get a chance to look at the meeting minutes? I had one comment. Um on page two, I just noticed that Harold Grinspoon's name, um, the spelling, uh, sh it should be H-A-R-O-L-D-G-R-I-N-S-P as in Peter O-O-N, oh. Harold Grins Grinspoon. Okay. Okay. G R O. I N S P O O N. That's, that's what you said, right? G R I N S P O O N. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And are there any other corrections needed? Nope. Okay. I move to approve the minutes with corrections noted. My second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say nay. All right. Um, okay, so chair report, there's a few things. Um, so I I went in, like, because you've probably noticed that we haven't seen anything about this um, call for artists, right? For the uh, making it that we were. So I went to town hall and I, and oh yeah, and the other news is that Maureen Pollock, who is our point on this project and our point person essentially of the commission into the town hall, she has left. She's now working for, I believe the town of Montague. Oh boy. Yeah, so this is like a big um, mix up for us. <sighs> and, um, but she, is going to be handing it off to somebody else. The next, like Maureen to us, has not been appointed yet. So we don't know who our point person in town hall is going to be. Um, when that gets decided, I'll get notified and I'll send an email out to you about that. So just one question on that. So did the call for artists get distributed by the end of the year uh for the grant no. terms no, there's more there but wait there's more <laughs> oh sorry I, wait was that a yes or a no it sounded no, like a no unfortunately that's a, a very on point question because that's exactly the question that i had when i went in um so i i just by happenstance happened to find maureen even though she doesn't work there anymore she happened to be in the in um town hall so i go in and I talked to her and she said that the actual um, like Massachusetts in the Boston guys were feeling too much of a time crunch on this because like after we approved it, then it went to the town for approval and then it has to go in back to them for like a final approval. And to NEFA, they, you mean by them? And so they're backed up and they've extended it. So oh. it looks, 
it's going to be extended probably like well into February before the that call for artists actually hits the hits the uh, public. Okay, so we don't have to meet the deadline of January one, obviously. So that's correct. Good. That's yeah. good news. Although I would like to get this kicked out the door so we can move on. True. Yeah. Okay. Um, I so, noticed that there was a um, job description. I'd, the town of Amherst was looking for a new planner, so I was curious about that. Yeah. Well, there yeah. was an article too, and I think either the Bulletin or the Gazette. I noticed, and um, I was surprised to see that. But yeah, yeah. she was moving on to Montague. Yeah. Yeah, it was in the Gazette. Yeah. I must have missed that one. Yeah, I was very surprised when I saw it. I wish her well. <laughs> I was grinned. I thought, oh, this means trouble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But luckily there's this extension going on. So okay. yep. it gives a bit of breathing room for this this um handoff that's going to be happening to whoever the new person's going to be. Okay. I'm sorry, did you say did they um did they give a definite date for the extension of the deadline? No. No, Maureen didn't know what it was, and I don't think like she's been given a definitive answer. So, How do we have we, do we have a contact at NIFA with whom she was uh, working? No, I I do not. Like I've never um, like the it was the chair before me that actually went into Boston for the training and all that stuff. <clears throat> so I've never been. <clears throat> contact with anyone I've always just been in contact with Maureen who's been essentially like the shepherd of the project mm -hmm. right so how can we find out what the deadline is then if we look on the website Robert are you looking at the website right now uh, I wasn't no I'm on I'm on the wrong computer let me check here let's see if there's any thing written about it anywhere Um, and we don't yet know who in the town is going to be taking this uh, this on. Right. And in <laughs> February, they're going to be looking at who's going to be replacing her. So, like, essentially, it's been pushed, like, everything in the town hall with this project is pushed until February. In February. And so that leaves us um, with our other project. Hmm. Are we ready to think about that project right now? Give me a minute, please. I'm ready to note to myself to make sure I send the minutes for posting. I'm okay. trying to find any information about why this. Okay, thanks. News. We think that'd be on a press releases, right? It might be just something that they sent to Maureen. Okay. Perhaps I don't. I wish that I could get like actual, you know, direct information. So the uh, the previous chair of the commission uh, who attended those trainings, uh, he or she didn't pass any information along to you during the no transition bill. We talking Bill? Yeah, well, Bill still wants to be part of the project in some way, but I, I'm not sure what it is. Like, I think that he was wanting to be part of it, like later on, as far as like, like taking a look at the artist. Well, why don't we just call up Bill and get whatever he's got that we can get? He's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, he's cool. It's definitely cool. Um, like I, he never had like any any hard copy stuff. <laughs> as far as like like there was never any sort of like you know baton being passed on this project. I have a thumb drive. He can put all his computer files on if he wants to. And yeah, he's never sent me anything on the computer. We need to ask him. I'll ask him. Would you like me to do it? Okay. Jim yeah. Because like I, I had a meeting with him and it was mostly just like talking about the stuff and there was never anything that was like any sort of like 
paperwork kind of stuff. Any kind of like hard copies, any sort of online stuff. There was, <laughs> there was never any of that. And I think it was all supposed to go through Maureen, but now Maureen is gone. Remind, what, remind me what the official name of this project is. Making it public. Yeah, thank you. I just couldn't bring it to mind. I will call him up tomorrow and I'll go over there with two beers and I'll come back with his stuff. <laughs> I would Excellent. even ask if if he's if he's amenable, you know, if he could attend a meeting and perhaps give us a bit of an orientation to what he learned at the training, since I think most of us don't really have that. Yeah, I mean, he got the training. And we could all benefit I, from it. I think that would be helpful. Yeah, invite him to the next meeting, if that possible. Would, yeah, he well, can invite him. I don't know if he'll come. <laughs> well, yeah. you you can ask. Maybe maybe it'll require two beers. If I can say yeah. that in public <laughs> meeting. Uh, so. so let me ask Steph, what if he can't come to the next meeting, but he wants to arrange a special meeting? Can we have a special meeting for that? I think so, um, because it's it's like stuff that it's it would be considered like training, like kind of like that he went to, you know what I mean? Without yeah. any of us before. And um, and I've asked him to come to a meeting. I think it was like back in November, maybe, but he couldn't make it because in the evenings, he he's got little kids and there was like something there's some sort of thing about like the little kids have you know like ballet lessons or something well that's why i brought up a special meeting in case i needed to negotiate yeah like while the kids are at school because like remember we used to always have our meetings during school hours yep he could probably meet during the day well we could have a meeting instead of at night next time we could have it during the day maybe how does that work for everybody else? No, yeah, it's I'm difficult. It, it it's would difficult for me. Yeah. The, Not going to work. On the day and time. I'm sorry. It would depend on the day and time. Right? Okay. Okay. Um, can I just? So I'm looking at the NEFA page about making it public 2023. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I'm on a page, and I'll send. I'll put the the URL in the chat in a minute. Do we have chat ability in, in this? No, because of the open meeting law. Uh, you know, this whole open meeting law. I know. Um, anyway, so there in this, it's, it gives a list of the participating communities, and Amber's not on the list. Well, that's a little weird. That's not a good Wait. sign. Wow. Okay, 2023 MIP from Massachusetts municipalities confirmed participants. This is what we're doing, right? This is us. Well, it might be under 2022, though. Isn't that when the award I, was made? Did they not show a 2022? Well, I guess I'll, I'll now I'll look, but I would didn't I wouldn't think they would already have the participants for this year. But what do I know? I'll look. Right, because like we're only like a week into this year. Uh, I'll take a look. That is definitely alarming. Man, I wish Maureen was here. <laughs> you know, I I think this has to be for next year. There has to be a page for 2022. I'll find it and I'll get back to you. Okay. Yeah. okay, so if you get a response, if you send it to everybody on the committee with no discussion, it does not violate the open meeting law. Just the, you know, just sending us a fact with no discussion about it. Okay. So you can just say, we are listed on X or we are not listed whatever the fact is so that we will be able to think about it for the next meeting or if Shona decides that she we need to have something done sooner than that she'll have that information you can talk to Shona alone about it as long as Shona doesn't talk to you know a serial quorum mm -hmm. so, so if you want to talk to Shona that is not a quorum but if you talk to Shona then Shona talks to me and I talk to Dara then a whoops yeah. There's some contact information on here that we can reach out to these people about this particular project. And I, I'm going to go ahead and write this down. And um, there's three people here we can contact to ask questions about this. I mean, I think getting information from Bill is really, is really valuable. 
but I also would love to hear it from the horse's mouth kind of. I would agree. So um, I'm going to. Um, no, I found 2022 and we are listed. Thank you. I got very oh. nervous. <laughs> Nine municipalities have been chosen to participate. Thank you. Uh, Amherst, Attleboro, Fitchburg, Lowell, Lynn, Natick, New Bedford, Salem, and Watertown. Thank you very much. Sure. Got very nervous. So we don't need to. Okay. Yay. Yeah, it sounds like a lot of those other towns are like bigger towns than us. I feel I feel like we're like the smallest town on that list. Yeah, but we're better. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But I wonder like if, you know, those other towns have um have someone that's like in charge of these kinds of things that stays on and <laughs> Some consistency in terms of <laughs> project management. <Yes>. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, Terry, you're gonna lead the charge on making that contact. I will. Yep. Um, <clears throat> okay, so I think I'm. What I'm gonna do is just kind of reach out and ask for more information about this this delay or this change of date. And then I, when I get a response, I will share it with you. Is that okay to do? Yep, as long as you don't discuss it. Okay. It, it, because it's a document that we're going to discuss for the next meeting. So you say, here is a document to be used in the next meeting. Okay, so I will get information and I will share it with all of you via email. And then we can talk about it next month. Is that good? Yep. Okay, Great. thank you. Thank you. Huzzah. All right. Um, and okay, there's there's the other project that's on our horizon. Do you guys want to talk about that? Are you guys ready to? Yeah, yes, what, I'm what ready. Is it? Yeah, no, there was another project. Yeah, yeah. there's a project. So last year we got a grant for 2000 from the Amherst Cultural Council to use for the those um what do, what do we call it we want to call it like the boltwood walk gallery it's um it's like you know that parking lot that's kind of like by johnny's tavern oh yeah yep. and it's like the structure there and there's like these windows right and um you know when last year we had an artist that had a temporary thing put in and we've got a grant to do it again. Um, and the way that we did it last time is we didn't do a full public call for artists. Instead, we, like everyone kind of picked an artist that they were interested in having there. And then we all decided like, okay, this is the one that we want. And then that person um, did the installation. And I, you know, we could do that again, or we could do a full call for artists, but uh, we do have to use that $2,000 for this project um, by the end of this calendar year. Okay, so to, I'm sorry, I'll wait. Oh, that's, you can go ahead, I'll come back in. Oh, thanks, Sarah. Just to clarify, this is the windows of the actual little little building with the staircase that goes downstairs? Yes. Correct. So it's like like six or eight windows those are big windows i noticed so are we no. looking, am i looking thinking of the wrong place yeah you're thinking of the wrong oh, place yeah. uh, i'm definitely there's, thinking of the wrong place then okay uh, there's okay. little windows that are like in the um that are in like the wall of this like they're like, in the entrance to an elevator and a staircase okay all right it goes yeah. down into the parking garage Okay, so if we do we have like number and dimensions and all that? Is this I don't, but all you can the go, for artists? You can go walk and look at it. It's I'll they're okay. very small, they're very hard to see. Okay. It's not yep. a very, very friendly kind of display in any way whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't and imagine it's... what would be more appealing for an artist to hear that. <laughs> well, but it's the truth. So my question is, does it have to be visual art? Oh. That was my question too. What a good idea. Sorry to step on your question there. 
Are there any requirements on the base that it has to be one thing or another, Shona? There's no parameters like that from the um, the cultural council. Okay. And is the money uh, earmarked to go to certain parts of a project, something to the artist, something to the materials, whatever, that, anything like that? That's for us to decide. Okay. So, um, okay. And so it's $2,000 and like how much we want to give it to the artist or how much we want to reserve for uh, um, like a, like a opening sort of thing. Cause like in the past we did like, you know, the artist got like a certain amount and then we reserved like a couple hundred so that we could have like a little party for his opening. Uh-huh. But we don't have to do that. Well, let's decide how we're going to find the artist first. Okay. I think a call for artists sounds. Sorry, Robert. Go ahead. No, no, no. I go ahead. I, I'll speak after you. I was only going to say um, it sounds like a call for artists would be useful, but um, I'm still trying to figure out the description and how many windows there are. Six, four, two, more. I want to uh, say four. Like my memory says four. Okay, I'm just trying to think of like, like the scope. And you said they're like like not very big, not very big, not that big. You okay. got it way too big. Yeah, tiny. Okay, yeah, got it. Like, Why don't you just take a walk back there or drive back there and take a quick peek at it, and then you'll see what the what's the situation. You know. Okay. Thanks. Well, so if we're not going if we're going to consider other than visual artists, what other kind of artists are we going to consider? Although I think Robert was. I do have a comment and a question. So stepping back a little bit, um, I'm looking at the agenda and way down at the bottom is plans for moving forward. And I'm wondering if it would be useful. I mean, given that it sounds like we have all year to use this $2,000 and figure out what needs to be done with it. So it's not an urgent matter. Um, I'm wondering if it would be useful to create you know, plan for the year, uh, the mini strategic plan, as it were, you know, something that that sort of holds together what we want to do, as opposed to there being a lot of kind of one off um, projects, I think it would help. Um, perhaps, uh, you know, give some give some shape to to our activities. And, you know, there are a number of grants available from other foundations, et cetera, for public art. And I think if we, you know, created a clearer idea of what we wanted to do in the next year, it would allow us to try to find funding, et cetera. And, you know, maybe we determine it's a few projects as opposed to, you know, biting off a great deal. Obviously, we're all busy with other things as well. And so, um, you know, because I've been doing a little bit of research, not not a lot, unfortunately, but I, I, I do know that I've seen some other arts councils, which are obviously a little more um, layered in terms of administrative support, et cetera. But you know, they they have either a mission statement or or some kind of plan for the year. That again, I, I think that might be helpful if we spend some time thinking about that. You're here. I agree. Yeah. I second I, that. I yeah, and I think it's a great. Um, it's a perfect for also everyone to be thinking about like what kind of um, jobs that they want to take on in the in the organization itself because like i'm headed out the door essentially so when when, when are you um uh, my plan was to leave in march march so like somebody would have to be chair <laughs> and but then there's um you know, all, a treasurer would be excellent. Not for um, what money? <laughs> I guess I would volunteer for that, given that that's what I do anyway. <laughs> so, Thank you can Robert. handle an almost non-existent budget. I have great confidence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and um, speaking of money, um, there's another thing that I need to talk to you guys about uh, afterwards. 
and I wanted to talk to you guys about it last time, but then we got cut off on when Maureen left because she wound up being the the host. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. So she ended yeah, the meeting, then she left town. So it's uh... yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think it was that embarrassing. Well, some people can't deal with that sort of embarrassment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I think that maybe um, proposing um, having a, a longer a longer meeting for people interested in this whole idea of a strategic plan, coming up with a plan for the year is a very good idea. I, it would take more than an hour. You know, it would be. Oh. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, it would be a process over a few meetings, I would say. Yeah, I would um, love to help in that if you're, if, I'm, if I can. I like there to be a plan. <laughs> yeah, a long range plan would be a good yeah, idea. Yeah, long range plans are good. Um, I'm wondering if perhaps a start would be to try to gather a few from other, you know, municipal arts commissions, not that we, you know, I didn't know that we have to reinvent the wheel, but it might provide us with some good ideas. I'm sorry, see if Maureen can get you one from Montague. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm uh, pretty sure I will ask, but I, I know I can get Arlington's because I work with Arlington as a contractor. Um, mm -hmm. They have a beautiful strategic plan and they, they went through a whole process. They were essentially what, doing what we are doing now, trying to figure out what their road is a few years ago. Um, and so I'm, I will ask the chair if I can borrow that information so we can just kind of take a look at it. Yeah, just and you can see what, go, other, see what other, you know, municipalities are doing. Mm -hmm. Go online to any of their websites and mm -hmm. read about it if they have anything. So you, you can right. play hunting on your own if you feel like it. You know, comp towns you're interested in or towns you think are in some way or another comparable to the resources Amherst has. So should we make that perhaps an agenda item for next meeting to, so again, so Jim, uh, if we were to find documents from other towns that we wanted to share with each other, we can do that as long as we're not, as long as we don't say anything other than, than please see attached for discussion at next meeting in the email. Yep, okay. yep. Okay. Okay. It's okay. Okay. And also be thinking about um, sometime in the future, this percent for art situation is going to be coming up. And that's going to be like a really big deal. A huge thing. Yeah. So do you, uh, is there a resource we can go to um, immediately to get an idea of how much money that's going to mean? Um, that is entirely up to um, what project it's going to be attached to and how much that project is. No, I know, but is is there anything going on with it yet or anticipated? No, like everything's still in uh, like a very like amorphous sort of stage as far as like the projects that that we're gonna have on the horizon for that. Well, I was going to mention at some appropriate time that I think the biggest failing that there is about public art is failure to provide a budget for the public art committee. So, I mean, how, how are you supposed to do anything without a budget? Well, you get grants. Um, you do the work of getting the grants. That's how you get money. No one gives it to you. You got to fight for it. That's like every like every other organization. You're fighting for money from the state. But the two I say fighting. I mean, the two percent thing that Sean has referred to. It's a, half, yep. it's a half a percent. It's called percent for art because it was like originally going to be 1%, but then it got oh, okay. half a okay. percent. Sorry. So I was the, being optimistic. So the <laughs> point that I was trying to make is that it's hard for us to plan if we don't know what the money we have is. So I would put that kind of high on the list of trying to figure out where we can get money for things. That'd be a good thing to add to the strategic plan talk. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Who, um, regarding the percent for art, because I, I don't really know anything about that. Um, who Who is overseeing that? Is that through the town 
manager or how, what, what is, what's yeah. the mechanism? Yeah. yeah, when that kicks in, that would be uh, a relationship between um, the town manager and the chair at that point and the treasurer. Like that would be, you know, there would be a lot of communications once that time comes. Cause like, it is like a bylaw now that we get half a percent of a public project. And, um, but it's also like, you know, the, the art that's going to be there has to be um, part of that particular site. Like when they redo the elementary school, eventually um, we're gonna get a half a percent for art and it's going to be something that's going to be at that site of the school. Is and there a document? Is there a document where you can read the whole, like, legal legal document about this project? I will go look and see. Probably because I had a lot to do with it because I was on that subcommittee or whatever you call it. Okay, that would be great. Because see, like, I don't know anything more than. You, okay, I'll go look my, I mean, most of us don't search the, that would be great to get you to read the whole thing okay uh, for a comprehensive discussion yeah well i probably won't find that but i'll get the closest thing i can that'd be great okay and by the way, I need, if we have documents presented the meeting, I had the difficulty with the, the organization because they put a doctor on a document on a PowerPoint. And then when I try to get a copy of it for the corporate records, I have gotten no response. So if you, if you get something on a, that's in, in electronic form, please send me a hard copy or at least the file so I can print a hard copy to put in the minutes and then. Okay. We could send, change it, make it a PDF and send it. That would be. Fine. Yeah, that's anything like that. So I can. Okay, get so it. PDF is fine. PDF is fine. I know how to deal with it once I get it. All right. Um, so, but go, circling back to the Boltwood Gallery, I don't want to push it off too much because it is amazing how the time just slips through your fingers. As far as like you know, getting that call for artists out, and then um, like, well, first like figuring out what we're gonna do as far as like the breakdown of the finances, and then the call for artists, and then getting them installed. Well, how much would it cost us to have a call for artists? Roughly. I mean, isn't that free? Just put it up on the town website? Is I'm, there some cost associated? I'm assuming people will say not very much, but the first thing, if we're having a call for the artists, how much are we going to have to spend on it because it's coming out of our two grand? Yeah, I don't think we spent any money on it last well, time. I don't think there's okay any, you don't spend any money for the call for art okay you can figure out what you want to what you want to award right okay that's good so i mean then, it's really just asking area newspapers to run it and put it on the amherst town website and other you know digital okay websites and such so now then there was the idea we we're going to have a strategic plan or we want to do that before we do this call for art or do we want to do them simultaneously I suppose we could do it simultaneously. What do you think, Bob? Um, I guess I thought it would be possible uh, that we could have, um, we could probably have a plan in place, I would guess in the next you know, couple of months, it's not gonna be a, an incredibly extensive strategic plan for the year. And then that would still give us you know, three quarters of the year to figure out um, what sort of what sort of art or event 
people wanted to uh, use the $2,000 for. And That's so just my... multi, can we do a multi-year, you know, kind of plan, strategic plan? Um, I, I just feel like that would be more constructive instead of it just being a one year. And also, you know, coming up with some kind of mission statement. Mm -hmm. you know, what are we trying to do in public art? What is our, what is our reasoning? What are we aiming toward? I think that would be really, those would be really useful questions for us to answer before we go ahead with a, you know, with a plan. Yeah. So, no, Multi-year, that, that does make sense, I, I guess, because so we, we are all, all in office. More than one year terms, right? Yeah. 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 I think 2025 is four well, of us. If we put strategic plan as the only item on the next agenda or the next meeting. Yeah, it's a great idea. Yeah, I, I think that's a good idea. So would would we would we have some background material to help us be ready for that meeting? I'll I know I'll collect some things. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll also look for some things and um, okay. send them. So yeah, we have some things to discuss and some. And Shona, is there a mission statement already for the commission that doesn't have to be used, but that is a beginning to see what is Great. there now? I think like on our town website, we've got like some, you know, yeah. like write up, but it's not very, it's very brief. Yeah. yeah. Not like any sort of guidance that I think would be very helpful for the next chair to be able to like, if you guys all formulated this plan and then, um, you know, it would, it would help the next, the next chair be able to steer the ship with a little more uh, purpose. There's, there's one sentence for this. The commission overview fosters a greater community awareness of the interaction with public art and through public art promotes cultural diversity and an improved quality of life for Amherst citizens. That's it. Yeah. It sounds very and impressive. I think we can beat that up a little though. <laughs> but but I'm in um, two historical societies. I know it's different, but um, in a lot of places, the mission statement is small and concise. And then there's a statement below it that really um, explains what the mission statement is about for that. No. That's this is, my. This isn't here, but maybe it's in some of the paperwork that Shona gave me. What what's wrong with what you just said? I thought that was pretty good. It's a good over overview, but it's a little short. I don't know. Well, yeah. I think so a strategic plan would 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 you know would go from there. This is how we accomplish this. Yeah. Well, yeah, I like, got to say, as somebody that spent my career reading 100 page documents, I come to the conclusion that short is kind of good. I totally hear you. I, I think we could go maybe more than one sentence, but I totally hear you. <laughs> Somewhere in between 100 pages and one sentence, I feel we could work with that. Yeah, something that what Michelle like, said was helpful that you yeah. have your short thing, which you can change, mm -hmm. and then you have some more underneath it that gives you gives people who read it an idea of what that is translated into action maybe you could divide it into subdivisions and then have one yeah okay that's good okay so i'm still a little panicked about the um the boltwood thing but we're not gonna does anyone want to like start like making a document for the call for artists well we don't know what we want to do i mean you know yeah. there was discussion which i thought was very interesting about the possibility of not having it as visual art because it's such an unfriendly location for visual artists i said this makes sense what else could we do and we don't know so so i would suggest that we either figure that out right now or but my question it. my question is if we don't all all know what it looks like it's hard for us to talk about it so yeah i don't have much to add to me, though like if it's not friendly to visual arts how who is it going to be friendly to yeah right. we need to have a field trip um to the spot um i'm leaving like next thursday for like at least a month oh. uh so if, but I know that, um, that James has been there, because I've seen him there. He knows where it is. I know where it is. 
I've can been you there. just explain? Can you explain again? Maybe maybe another uh, thing for us to do prior to the next meeting is each of us um, try to get to the spot so that we can see what the space looks like. Because I'm I'm not exactly clear. Is it is it the basically the elevator uh, right. area that about- goes down to the lower level of the parking? It's um, it's like the windows that are around the staircase, kind of, but like not exactly like like the plate glass windows. There's like these hey, these Lori. small windows with like shadow box sort of situation behind the glass. And I'm just worried, like if I send everyone there individually, maybe they'll think it's something else, and they won't realize that. Oh no, it's actually this thing. That's the other picture. Is it, is it the... like of past Sorry. projects? Do we have? Any photos of past projects that we can look at to say, oh, this is what it is. I a long, long time ago when it was first installed, they had palms in it by different citizens of Amherst. And you couldn't even read the palms because the glare on the glass made it impossible to read <laughs> what's inside. A oh, little, let's not do that. <laughs> a little diorama thing. Yeah. You know? So it's, it's real important for you to see what it looks like and how it works to see what could possibly be useful in there. Okay. So is it that little structure, you know, where the white? Yeah, it's in the middle be? of it's in the middle of the over, above ground parking lot. Okay. It's a little kiosk looking square building, brick, okay. I think. Okay. And the and the the blue windows will be real obvious to you if you just go walk by it. So it's right across from where the white hut used to be. Is yep. that correct? Like yep. right up. Okay. Across, across okay. the plot from that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. I have um the I'm, last artist we had in there was actually fabulous. He had like all this like kinetic art that was in there and so it was like exciting. Benjamin Cowden. Is huh? that his name? Was his name Benjamin Cowden? Yes. Right. I, I just pulled it up. Was oh, it? Do we have, do we have any documentation it? of that? that yeah, it's really on the website. Oh, it's okay. on the um, Public Art Commission announces inaugural exhibition at the Portal Gallery on Boltwood Plaza. Oh, and there's cool. an article about it and how much he got and who William Kazin was chair of the um, Public Art Commission. Right. Uh, and I think, uh, I'm not sure if there's pictures. Hold on. Shona, was it a lit up or electric in some way? Yes, because okay. there is electricity back there. Yeah, it shows pictures. Yeah. yeah. It shows pictures of how it looked or the pieces that were put in, but it doesn't show um, looking in through the window, the little windows. Here it is. Okay, this was... It's, it was okay. very cool, though, because it's like it was reactive. Like when right. you went do it and it sensed the motion of you like it would start moving <laughs> it was right. cool the we pieces could... were called right. one's a pleated horizon the other one is a gathering and chaotic progression yeah mm-hmm. but but because his because it's like not climate controlled it's very it can get very cold like freezing that's why the poem thing died like when the first time it got cold, those died. And then, so he only showed his stuff until it got cold. And that's like something that we have to take in consideration if we want to have something in there for a long time, it has to be something that can be okay being frozen. Or we can put heat in because there's power. Yeah, there is power. Or we wait until the warmer weather. Yeah, one or the other. So there's I, three I, things going funny. on and I have just, one is, we need to do this project and what are we going to do and here's a really good idea and then another one was we need to figure out what we want to do so one possibility is do another project like the other one that we just already did that worked really well and get that going while we're doing this strategic plan so so i would say let's decide whether we want to do this strategic plan period or whether we want to do something that we've already done at boltwood because we know it'll work yeah, and um, like as w- you know, the thing about the freezing, that's why we had him install in August last time. We ins- and so that he would had the whole autumn to have his show in before 
the freeze came in which shortens our time frame if you know if we follow that same pattern do we want to continue this discussion with the possibility of having a project of the type that we did before while we're also doing the strategic plan or do we just want to say this is interesting we'll take it up again after we do the strategic plan i feel like we need to address this now what does everyone else think uh, as well i'm not like exactly right now but like you know we need to keep moving forward with this because like before we know it it's going to be because like we want to have enough time for the call for artists if we're going to do the call for artist situation and then get them installed robert anyone um i think my preference would be to try to do the plan first uh because if we then have some context in which to place this particular project i think you know part of what I foresee as an aspect of the plan is also how to raise the profile of the commission's activities. And um, so if, if we're going to have some marketing efforts around the public art that is determined uh, as part of the plan, then this project you know, could fit in that context. And if we're then publicizing the variety of things that are in the offing, you know, this could be an aspect of it. I, I think to just start on it now without necessarily a clear idea and with resources behind it in terms of, uh, you know, certainty or, or marketing. I, I don't know. I, I, I think there's still time. I understand what you're saying, Shoshana, about thing, you know, time slips away and, and it's very easy to lose track of, of timelines. But I, I think if we, um, you know, per Jim's suggestion, next meeting, we really focus on the strategic plan. I, I think, again, you know, we're not a multi-million dollar organization. I, I think a couple of meetings, we should be able to craft a plan that's, that's workable and realistic um, for the next couple of years. And then, you know, we can actually then start implementing the ideas so yeah, i agree with robert yeah. so i don't want to be slapdash about projects and i feel like um you know being asked to just slap something together because that you did it before i i don't really want to sign on to that because i don't have that history so i'd like to have a little bit more of a plan um i've always been more of a ready aim fireman than a ready fire aim man not me i like a plan <laughs> You're thinking about that one. <laughs> I have to I have to parse that, Jim. Ready, yeah. fire, aim. <laughs> uh, and being that you guys are the ones that are going to be moving forward with this project, um, I think your um, your opinions on this matter holds more weight. So I mean, we could we could vote. That would you know that that we definitely know for sure. But <laughs> but I mean, I'm going to be like gone before any of this even really happens. So I don't even feel like I should vote on it, you know? Well, you I'm looking at vote. like one, two, three, four people that suggested already that we should go do this strategic plan first. Okay. Then, so the next agenda will just be strategic plan. And right. we'll, exactly. all we'll all study up on what that means um for the next time for the next meeting i guess i would also <laughs> add if, if we're creating the agenda for next time now i would also add any updates related to the making it public uh project yep. because i'll have, I'll have an update i'll have whatever i get and i'll share it with you but we can also discuss that so that should also go on the agenda yeah okay all right update on making it public and working on the strategic plan yep if I could add one more in them. Um, so I think obviously succession planning is uh, is crucial here. So how is, what what's the process for the selection or is it an appointment of the chair of the commission? What was the other one making? Oh. It was like, it was just like, hey, be the chair. <laughs> and, 
leaving like you know bill called me up and he's like hey be the chair i'm leaving and and i was like really so to you put know, it the way i would election. you get somebody you go to a bar you get them drunk and then you get them <laughs> to agree to be the chair <laughs> I think possibly um, it would be an election scenario <laughs> where uh, that's, one, that's one alternative. I where suppose. Interested members would put forth their name and everyone would decide if that's a good idea and there would be a vote. That probably sounds like the more legitimate way to do that. Although <laughs> I'm a big fan of beers, you know. <laughs> so Shauna, when, when are you leaving? Um, March. And is that beginning or end or middle? Or um, well, I could stick around and do like the March meeting, but I would want to have somebody that was like, you know, already like geared up and ready to go. The March will be your farewell meeting. We have to. Okay, got it. So essentially effective April, we need a new chair. Okay. Is it a one year appointment or what does that usually look like? I don't know. It's just like Wild West, really, I think like. <laughs> you know the new sheriff comes in town and and, <laughs> and shoots the old sheriff you know you know how it is <laughs> well, i i, so I, I have all this paper if you didn't like my beer plan then you're really gonna hate the murder thing <laughs> <laughs> wow I, I, I was saying to shona i that she gave me a bunch of paperwork um and I, I would love to go through it and um, kind of see what was done in the past because there is no continuity. It seems like there's not a lot of continuity. Mm. There's a lot of records that are paper and um, not digital. And I, I have not had the time yet to go through these records. I think that will be interesting to see what what happened in years past to see if there's minutes and et cetera. So, yeah. When it's digitized, I can do it if you give me the papers. I've got a scanner, it's very fast. Okay. All right. And oh yeah. So other things that like I'm gonna have to have somebody do aside from the so we've got like the the uh the chair, we've got the treasurer. Uh we also have to have somebody take over social media. So whoever the be the uh, social media czar. We need a teenager. <laughs> yeah, it hey, would be. You, you want to see if I can dragoon somebody from Pioneer Valley Performing Art to join the committee? Be great. Because I've got contact. I've got. I used to be pretty heavily involved there, as as you know. I'm also at Amherst High School. Oh. Yeah. A yeah. high school kid would be ideal. Like we have one on the um, Amherst Public Shade Tree Committee, and he has a ton of energy and is very enthusiastic. And it would be awesome to have that. I think Amherst High School is a better place to start because it's Amherst. Yeah. And you know, so if somebody puts together what I can present to the um, uh, uh, art department, I will, and and we'll see who we can get. Okay. That'd be great. So who's gonna to put together the description, like job description? Hmm. Shona, I have a question about the commission itself. Yeah. Uh, are we allowed to bring on volunteers who would not be um, obviously um, voting, but they would still participate in different ways if we had somebody interested in getting, like procuring grants, et cetera? Is that something that you've done or the committee, the commission has done in the past? Um, not on this one, but it, I've seen it done on the shade tree committee. Okay. The, I've seen that in um, other town commission meetings that I've visited where not every, yeah. the people who are involved in the meeting are, there's a lot of external people who are very interested in what's going on and some people volunteered and uh, should we be reaching out for volunteers um, to bring in some more voices or is that something that you think would be helpful? Yeah, that sounds like, you know, many hands make light work, right? Um, they just can't be um, like actual appointed member and right, vote. Right. Yeah, they would just they would just be volunteers who want to be involved with public art. That's all. Yeah. Okay. Just wondering. 
and oh yeah also um social media well I'm talking um, I could still use your guys's bios and um, a photo to go with your bio to do, have like a meet your your art commission. Didn't I do that? Yeah, Dara, you're the only one that did that. And I was I, <laughs> on social media. I haven't sent it into town hall yet because I was thinking like, oh, I'll just wait till everybody gets all their stuff in and then I'll send it to town hall so that I don't have like somebody that's like, in town hall like constantly having to come back and do it a bunch of times because i feel like somebody would get like left through the cracks on that one um okay so everybody get that in by next meeting right okay yeah that would be great so let's go back to this job description if we really want to volunteer we got it somebody needs to agree to draft up a job description well, who's doing it now nobody nobody well, what is it? I'm sorry, maybe I didn't understand so you. We have a Facebook presence, right? Do we oh, have social media? I'm sorry. Yeah, we have a Facebook and we have an Instagram. We have more success on Instagram than we do on our Facebook. And and who is doing that now? Me. What could you write up just a tiny, tiny little like list of what duties it would be? Yeah. That'd be great. There we go. Yeah. That would give you, you know, that's all you need. And that would help Michelle be so, able to spread the word at the high school art department that it might be a great opportunity for somebody to join our, you know, our mission. And it would yep. be fine with me if you sent it to Mickey without going through the formality of going through the meeting i think just send it to her mickey gramacki yeah so okay. unless somebody doesn't like that oh that sounds great it's a efficient yeah yeah like but if you don't get one of these uh high schoolers to do it we're gonna have to have somebody that's on the commission do it or like someone that's here already well, I, I'm fine. If you can't find somebody, I I do marketing. It's I'm happy to help. Okay, but yeah, it would be a great position for a, a kid because it's good experience for them. But um, I'm a marketing professional, so I do this oh. for pay. <laughs> I can also do a WordPress website if you want one. <laughs> okay. Don't answer that. <laughs> okay, so Mikey's gonna do that. And... Okay. But yeah, everybody needs to send me their thing and then I'll put it on our social media. And then, all right, so, oh yeah, and town hall gallery update on that. Um, Mikey, do you wanna talk on that? Cause Mikey's gonna be our new town hall gallery manager. Okay, so I got the um, background information uh, about the town hall gallery from Amy Crawley, who used to do it, and they did it in, in conjunction with Art Nights Plus, but that's no longer. Right. Um, so right now it's just finding artists and asking them to put their show up for two months. And right now we have Michelle, what's her last name? Diamond. Diamond. Her um, uh, paintings are in the gallery um, for January and February. Um, I, I will run it if anybody wants to help, that's great. Um, I'd love the help. <laughs> but the biggest thing that I'm looking for is artists to put up shows every for every two months. And in the past, um, Amy had them uh, uh, have a hundred dollar donation that they had to do and then 10 percent of whatever they sold uh no 20 percent but um since covid none of that has been enforced and i don't know what we want to do about that so this is an unpaid gallery we're not we're not giving any artists any money no. or no, they're just putting up their um, displays. And what I used 
when I did mine was this photo text paper that I bought. It's an adhesive fabric and I can put it on the wall and then just peel it off. So I put all my um, catalog information, you know, underneath the painting. So that's what I've used, but everybody uses their own. Whatever and, they want. And, the, and the artist pays a hundred dollars to get well, to do um since uh the town hall opened again they have not been paying so it's up to the uh, commission to if we're going to put that back in if we're going to have a contract um it none of that has been enforced since covid okay so that's up to us as a uh, what we want to do. I don't want to charge artists to do that. No. And okay. Another question, please, Mikey. Um, sure. Is there a reason it have, has to be every two months? It seems like a lot of work for two months of exposure. Is there any, um, any reason that's we can't do That's just the way it was. Months? Absolutely. We can make a lot of changes. I, I would like to um, try to get more people involved in it, get students involved, get their artwork up. Um, we could do three months. It, okay. Whatever we think, okay. but I I think that should be after the strategic plan. I'm willing to take that on and would love help. Some artists don't want it to be longer than two months because um, that restricts that particular art from being able to be used in shows. They don't want to tie up their art for too long. But we should have it. Um, I do think we should um, have a limit of, or not a limit, but uh, t two months or, and up if they want to keep it up longer. But I don't think that we should put it up for less than two months. That's just my feeling, but it's up to everybody. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, well, you being the manager, you're the one that's going to have to deal with it so it seems yep. like yep and anybody that knows anybody are any artist let me know just send me their information um i don't think we can do ceramic or sculptural because we no. don't have cases um we'd have to get cases from no they won't allow it it's um a fire code thing. only wall art only wall art okay yeah I hate to interrupt, but I have to get going. I've got family waiting. <laughs> okay. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. Uh, nice to see you all. I'll try to get some stuff sent out to you, information about this, uh, why we have this grant right. um, stand in, which is, I mean, great. But um, anyway, you'll see something in your email when I get that done. Great. Okay. Thank great. you. Thank you very much. Nice to see you all. Bye. Thank you for sharing your time. Bye. Um, I looked up mission statements uh, for public arts, and it's the mission statement is short and concise, and then below it is usually a vision statement. And uh -huh. um, we have that at both the Amherst History Museum and the Pelham Historical. And I'm on both of those boards. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Okay, and the other thing, another big thing that um, we've got a couple big things. Um, that okay so poetic dialogue right the epoch continues um somebody a while ago ripped down the robert frost and the poetic dialogue and um he's sitting in the dpw and he the artist kamal peters like he's already like at his own expense like fixed it from when he made the error and that was like his error. So he was happy to do it, you know, even though it was at his own expense, but this being that it's vandalism, he could really use some money. And we have a little bit of money that we could give him still from this grant because originally we earmarked from the grant $600 for grounds fees and the only receipt that we had sent to us from the DPW was for the sand and gravel that was something around like 140 I can't my I don't have my computer anymore so it, I can't actually access this particular receipt if somebody else could enter into our Google group 
and find this receipt and find out exactly how much it is. Um, I propose that um, the what is left over from that six hundred dollars after we considered that receipt, um, we could give to Kamal Peters to fix the uh, fix rubber frost. I have a question. Yeah. So who who owns this piece? Is does the town own it or does the artist own it? The town owns it. And it's, so if it's owned by the town, is it not insured in some way? It doesn't seem to be because um well, how's that possible? I, I, I have to imagine that everything the town owns is under the town insurance. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and that usually covers vandalism. Yeah. So why is why why isn't the town finance handling this issue? I don't know. I don't know, but like it's been it's been tossed like it, I don't know, the can has been kicked around on this. And because like the DPW is like talked to Kamal about it. And I talked to Kamal and then was like, you know, I'm talking to the DPW and it's and like I was hoping that the DPW would deal with it. And, okay. I think you know, the problem is we're asking, it's probably they're thinking it's not coming out of my budget. It's not coming out of my budget. And I will bet you if we find out it's covered by insurance, all of a sudden the cooperation level will go up. <laughs> okay. I will make another round <laughs> of, of, uh, well, maybe so, you need to talk directly to the finance man, uh, the town uh, finance manager. Yeah, they would know. Right. They should know. They should. They, they, know. They're the person who would handle the insurance. But if it isn't covered and if we do have money, wouldn't it be good to call Amherst Welding? And maybe have them weld it in place? Um. I kind of like the idea of the Robert Foss sculpture in the DBW office. That sounds like an art installation in itself to me. I, right. <laughs> yeah, I feel like, you know, if it's not um, covered right. by the town, then that is an issue to discuss. And I'm sorry, I missed the beginning of the meeting, but in our strategic plan. Yeah, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, who owns what? Yeah. And I don't think you have to go talk to the person. I think you can write them an email. With yeah, the yeah, I didn't. I didn't necessarily mean an in-person conversation. Yeah, but, yeah, but I, I'd say contact. Um, I, I don't. And I think with an email, email with, an email with the facts in it and the preferred way you want it resolved, suggested is going to help directly instead of just kicking the can around. Yeah. I try that and then emails seem more serious lots of times to people about money. <laughs> yeah, I guess they are cool. All right, so I'll see about insurance. <laughs> We might find out that the town has no insurance. Uh, <laughs> doubtful. No, I know. That would be unfortunate if that were the case. Yeah, who knows? I'd be willing to make a bet with some serious money. Yeah, I hope so. All right, and then also one other thing is the the grin spoon that's in um, Kendrick Park. I talked to the grin spoon people and um, cause I was, you know, I was thinking about whether or not it will be there for the making it public situation, right? And they said that the contract is through May with us and that um, they can extend it if we want, or they can take it down. It doesn't matter either way to them. So we can decide if we want to take it down in May or sometime before the installation or leave it in there and have it as a piece that would also be, you know, being displayed in the same space 
as possibly and make it public piece. What do they need to know? When we decide, there's no deadline really. But like mm -hmm. they're they're very um, <clears throat> casual about it. Like the because the the um, the way it was done before, it was like it was just a temporary thing, and then it wound up just staying until it fell apart and no actual like agreement was made. This time we've got an agreement that goes till May. And then if we want to extend it, we can. So I'm thinking if we can get the strategic plan done expeditiously, I would rather decide that issue after we do it. But that means we have to really get on the ball and get the strategic plan done, done either in February or, or, or early March. Where, where does this contract reside? It's with the town and a particular office? I've never seen this, this uh, contract. But Bren Spoon, let me hang on just a minute. Trouble is I can't take notes and look first things on my computer at the same time. I'm not that good. It's probably with the town attorney, I would guess. Uh, I suspect it passed through my hands, let me see. That would be public art commission, Grinspoon. Let me see if I find it very quickly. I'm pretty sure, what would that be under? Beside uh, That would be Kendrick Park, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, not so far. All right, quick search for Grinspoon. But I guess we don't really need to get like totally to the bottom of this right now. I just want to- figure that out very fast. Sorry about that. That's the situation with that particular sculpture. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. I can't do that quick. Just so that everybody's like, you know, knows what the deal is with them. <clears throat> and does anybody have any other big things that we need to talk about right now? <laughs> Not me. Anybody? All right. And so, okay. Um, I will, Robert, send you. Have you gotten into the Google group yet, Robert? Uh, no. Uh, what is what is okay. the name of it? Um, it's it's like Amherst Public Art Commission at Gmail dot com. Is like that's our Google group. Okay. And, um, I will get you, we need to like get you into that because in there is a spreadsheet that has been neglected that is um, for the treasurer to okay. have. Okay. And it hasn't been updated in a while, but you'll be interested to see that. And so I do we actually have any funds at the moment? Yeah, right now we have... Um, Three thousand five hundred eighty-four dollars and twenty-eight cents. Three thousand four hundred eighty-five and twenty-four. Is that right? Uh, Twenty-eight. It's, it's three five eight four point two eight. Okay. Two thousand. Um, that is for the um the Boltwood Portal Gallery project. So two thousand of that we cannot touch. And and is there any procedure for sort of how receipts and disbursements are handled? And yeah, there's like these little um, statements, et cetera. Are also in our Google group. I have um, copies in our drive, like our Google Drive and our Google Documents. I have copies of those things so that you can access those. Like when you need to. Um, like request funds or something like that. So we're all in that in the group. You should be, yeah. I, I tried to get in, but I couldn't get in. Okay, we need to get you in. We need to get you and Robert and Dara. And all of us, yeah. Yeah, anyone who wants to get in should be able to get in. So can you can you send perhaps the the link? Again, had that been sent previously? I don't remember. Oh, I sent, yeah, I sent you guys a, um, 
like a link and a passcode, like a password. But there, it is it is weird because like the security settings are like really really intense. And so when you go in, you actually have to text me, and then because I'm going to be getting a text that says like some number or something, and then you pop in that number on your side to show that you're actually. Oh, is that with Google Authenticator? Do you have to do that? I don't know what it's called, okay. but that's okay. Possible. Okay. And what is your number to text you? Because I couldn't get in last time. Okay. Um, I'll email that to you. Okay. You yeah, maybe if you can e email all the information. Uh, Emailing a password might gives me kind of a chill. Okay. Well, it's not the it's not the password, is it? I thought it's just the site, and then when we try to sign in, then is that when you're notified, Shoshana, and then you have to communicate yeah. the, the code in, to us. When you put in the passcode, then um, that's when. I get notified that somebody is trying to get in. And then it gives me like an like you have to prompt an authentication code and then it send it texts it to me and I can text it to you. Yeah, that's that's like two factor authentication like on some of the other. So once you put your I think what she's saying is once you put your passcode in, then it will ask you for a code that you get from sure. Right. Yeah. Is is there no way to invite other Google members in so you don't have to go through that? No. Not that like I wish there was, but I it's like I've found that it's even like that when I'm doing it myself. I'm like in on like a different computer or something and I go in, I still have to do that thing. And it's very frustrating. Uh, well, it do, is, do, but last there's this uh, password company. I think it's LastPass or something like that. They just so you have your encrypted passwords and they store them online. They were all stolen. So if you want to make sure that somebody's not nosing around in your business, like maybe your bank account or something you care about, the two-factor people who are using two-factor authentication would not be worried about the theft of their passwords as nearly as much as everybody else. That's the benefit. Uh, do we, are we required uh, because by, by the town to use this? In other words, we couldn't create our own Dropbox to share documents, could we? Via Dropbox, we have to use the Google? No, it doesn't have to be the Google. The Google is just made so that like, we could share things easily because before it was like, you know, somebody's got like the, that box that Terry's talking about. It was all just in that box and having the Google group made it so that anybody could get in and like anybody like that was authorized could get in and access the forms that they needed or look at histories, you know, that sort of thing, store photos. Oh, so all the history is there. Okay. So it wouldn't make sense. There should really be a way to set up the Google to make it easier to access. I think. Well, if you don't care about the security, there's no reason you need two factor authentication. That's the only reason you have it, just for security. Yeah. If we had like a good IT person, do it, like, do we have access to anybody that would be good at that kind of thing? Because that's not me. Well, I mean, if, if I can get in it, I could look. I mean, I'm not an <laughs> IT person, but I can look around and see what's possible i've worked in google drive okay well i mean first you have to decide what level of security you want don't you isn't it just the way google is I no just... i do huh? not i'm on google drive more than once with no double factor authentication required huh yeah i don't know all right well let's get is, um, is there three... someone in the town tech department who could support or be of assistance what's that is there someone at the town uh in their tech department who could offer well, some support not, not like an official um town like site oh um, i see okay you know what i mean well, if you i mean we could do a zoom or some you know and you could share your i don't know if this problem for town meeting law or whatever though but you could share your screen and we could just 
look in that you could go in the Google Drive, open it up, and we can go to where the settings are and decide how to set up the settings. Okay. Well, I think you have to figure. I mean, for me, I want to know if people think we can dispense with two factor authentication, which I strongly suspect we can. I suspect we can too, because if, unless there is, you know, information in there with credit card information or that kind of thing, I don't think, right. I don't think it's a problem. I think that the stuff we handle is public documents anyway. So, yeah. But I would assume we wouldn't have social. Uh, I mean, would, would we have any W 9s though, or would the town keep the, you know, in other words, if we're paying vendors or artists? Um, oh, yeah, right. That's that would have social security, but I don't know. Would we keep that? I mean, wouldn't the town have those in a separate place? We have blank ones. Like I've got the the blank ones so that we could like print it out in there, but not ones that are filled out. Those go to the town. We never right right deal so, with them. right. So we wouldn't presumably have anything with anybody's social security number on it. No, I don't know. that Google Drive. So I think the simpler the better. Yeah. Okay. But we'd have to have an understanding. You don't put anything confidential there. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, you certainly don't want every time one of us goes in that you get a text and you have. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think once somebody's like okayed, then they can go oh, in time no, they want. No. I see. No, it doesn't work like that because the point is. Right, so each it's time not that they want to make sure that Jim Barnhill is a real person. They want to make sure that the person logging in is Jim Barnhill. And that well, I think if you log in from the same place, you can get back in. But if oh. you log in from a new computer, you won't be able to get in. Right. And yeah. Also, I must say none of the two factor stuff that I'm doing works like that. But maybe. All right. Maybe just kill two factor and just make it go away. Right. All right, I'm gonna um, actually. Oh man, this is complicated extra by the fact that I actually uh, I don't have a computer right now, and so oh. I go in on my computer, and the, like all the functionality is like very limited on my phone. So I'm guessing I won't even be able to go in and do the, it's like things that I can't see at, on on my phone in the Google Drive. So I think because of this situation of me not having a computer right now is going to be me doing the tech round thing with Lori, get Lori in there and then Lori can get at it with a computer and make changes. What do you think of that, Lori? That's fine. Okay. All right. Can you um, email me um, at some point when you want to like set aside some time um, perhaps before next Thursday night because <laughs> I'm leaving for a month and I can so, are, are you available tomorrow um let me check what what kind of I have no concrete plans that can't be moved tomorrow so at your at your convenience how about um 10 a.m 10 a.m okay so will you email me or i'm going to email you my phone number okay and then um and i can i can email you a, a like a zoom link okay and we can um meet on zoom Okay, yeah, we might even just be able to do it on texting because that's how I got Terry in. She just like said, okay, I'm going in now. And then texted I, texted me that she was doing that and texted her the code that came in. We didn't even- Oh, right, because you don't have a computer. What's, yeah. what's, or I can just, yeah, I just need the information how to try to get in. Yeah. Phone number to text you. Yeah, something that did happen with Lori was that she did have to change when she went in. She had to change the um, password, so I have to look up actually what that password is because it's not the same as it be. So let me dig around and find that. 
Okay. Shoshona, before you leave uh, for your um, uh, trip, are you, will you be sending a doodle uh, for the next meeting? Yes. Or... Yes, Great. yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah. You. All right. Okay. All right, does anybody have anything else? right now that needs addressed? Are we good to go? Anybody? All right, I move that we adjourn. Second. Second. All right. So we're all set and I'll send out the doodle poll. I'll, I'll, um, we'll just, I'll say we, we're adjourning by Acclamation. Then. Okay. I was going to say we need to vote, but never mind. Okay. All right, gang, I'll be in touch. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks very much. Bye. 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 Itch. Wow. <laughs>